today we're going to be looking at this hat that I've made. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Kezalistic. Um, so today um, we're going to be looking at a hat I've made. Um, just the one, this one is for me. I don't make hats myself very often. Um, now, Sean and Amy, <laughs> bless them, are very patient with me. Um, I originally did crochet a hat just using a basic single crochet, that's US terms, uh, double crochet UK terms. Um, just a basic, plain single crochet hat. Um, didn't look right using the yarn that I've used for this, which I'll just speak about in a minute. Um, just didn't look right. Sean suggested I put a peak on it and I tried that and it didn't look right. Then I tried using some of my mermaid yarn just to put in like an edging on it, see if that would sort it out. That made it look worse. So I ended up frogging it. Ripped the whole lot out and started again. Um, and I searched and searched on Ravelry because um, the yarn I've, I've used is a chunky yarn. Um, and I, I thought about it and I realised that this particular yarn for whatever reason kind of needed a texture to it so that's why I've gone for a cable um, so this is only the second cable I've ever done um, so it's probably not perfect and um, it's got a ribbed edging um, and obviously it's sewn in at the top um, so the you start with um, the ribbing, and I used, I can't remember which way round, I can't remember which way round I used my hooks, I think it was the bigger one first, which is the smaller one. Don't you hate that when you've made something, I literally only made it a few days ago and I can't remember, but the hooks that I've used are five and a half and six millimetres. Um, the pattern I used I will have to link because I don't actually have it printed off um, but it's by Crochet Superno Supernova um, it's called the Classic Chunky Cable Hat. It is a free pattern um, and I will obviously put a link um, down below. Um, so uh, on the pattern uh, the ribbon needs done with an I hook and then J hook for the main thing. It's it's written in US terms um, for those of you in the UK just who are aware. Um, so I can't remember. Which, I had to actually. The trouble is in in England we don't have uh, letter sizes. We only go by millimeters. So I remember I did have to look it up, um, and now I can't remember which one's which. So I think the ribbon was the five and a half and the main hat was six, I think, if I've remembered right. It could be the other way around. Sorry about that, but you know roughly what size. is basically half a millimetre difference of what I've used. Um, so the yarn I've used is actually something my mum uh, picked up for me last year at a car boot sale. Um, I actually have three balls of this um, and it's called Gerald. It's called Sw Sweet Briar Chunky with 30% wool. Um, it is 100 gram ball, 30% uh, wool and 70% acrylic and the shade number, it's got the price over it, bear with me, just got to peel it back. No, it doesn't want to, oh shade 14 I think that is, let me just check I've got another one, excuse the rattling. Oh, no, that one's over. They put all the price labels right over the colour shade. That's helpful. I didn't even notice that before I started recording. Is that, that one? Oh, the one I've used didn't. There we go. Should have started with the empty ball pen first. Um, so it's shade 14. Um, it's originally £2.90 a ball, as you can see. That's the yarn. Um, so this is what the yarn looks like in the obviously in the ball band. Um, it's just feels like acrylic really to be honest. Um, 
but I thought being a chunky it would work up quicker. Um, and the reason I've, I've chosen purple, apart from it being my favourite colour, um, I've recently um, got a new winter coat which um, happens to be purple, which surprisingly as it's my favourite colour is the first purple coat I've ever owned. Um, so I'm absolutely loving it and it's super warm. I've never had such a warm coat either so um, so it's been been really really great. Um, so this fits perfectly. Um, it's all worked in uh, single crochets um, and treble crochets, that's UK terms, so it'll be double crochet and double treble crochets. Um, so the stitch is basically, you, you do four stitches in between each cable and then um, you do a treble, this is US terms, and you go down a couple of rows and put it through the previous row and you do that and then, then you do a row of um, single crochets and then uh, the next row you skip when you get to the double crochets you skip so you go you put one in and basically round the post like so you go round one of the posts of the previous one um, on the third and fourth one and then you go back into the first and second one round it and that's how it creates a cable um, I'm sure a lot of you know this but if you're new to crochet maybe you don't um, so it looks really complicated but it's actually not as complicated as it sounds um, I didn't have a tutorial for this so sorry for those of you who can't read patterns um, but I'm sure there must be tutorials for cable hats somewhere on YouTube to be quite honest I didn't look um, I just looked for a pattern um, the pattern did say to repeat the cable um, you get to a certain point you get to about here where is it to about there and then it tells you to repeat the pattern um, three times um, I only repeated it twice to be quite honest, that was the size of my head um, and it fits me perfectly. If I'd done any more than that, it would have been too big. Um, so if you are making it for yourself or somebody you know, I would suggest that you check um, against the size of their head because if you do the three repeats, it could be, especially for a, for a woman, it could be way too big. Depends on your size of your head. I've got a small to average woman's size head. Uh, my friend, she's more like a man size, so if I'd been making it for her, I would have had to do the third repeat. So it just depends on who you're making it for. Um, but for me, two repeats w was was plenty. So I'm really pleased with this, and this does actually match my coat. Um, I haven't had a chance to wear it. I uh, went out earlier and <laughs> thought it was a bit warmer than it was, and I should have really worn it. But uh, yeah, live and learn. So <laughs> next time I go out, I'll definitely be wearing it. Um, so I'm hoping to make a matching scarf. Um, so I'm probably going to use the, this pattern and, and make a cable out of, of that. Um, I don't know whether to make it into a cowl or something that I could, you know, just a, a flat scarf because I'm thinking that's easier to tuck into a coat. Um, but I haven't quite decided. Um, one thing I would like to make myself, um, I don't know whether I'll have enough yarn, I might have to order some of it. Um, is I would like to make uh, some gloves. Has anybody, have any of you ever made gloves? I don't mean mittens, I've made crochet mittens and mittens are alright but um, when you're shopping and you've got to put in pin codes for your bank card, when you're driving, I do a lot of very practical things so actual gloves, proper gloves with you know your fingers um, all separate um, are much better for me. So does anyone know of any chunky patterns, um, or even just double knit patterns, it doesn't matter, um, crochet gloves, because the only the only glove patterns I can seem to find are mittens, or fingerless gloves, which I don't want, um, yeah, and I just can't seem to really find any, so if, do you, any of you, know of a pattern for gloves that's crochet, um, I'd be really grateful, because I would like to make some for myself, and like to have, I'm a bit... I'm a bit funny, I like matchy matchy. <laughs> like everything to match. <laughs> I can't just have one thing and wear something. I do sometimes, but I prefer it when it matches. It's just a bit of a perfectionist issue that I have <laughs> had for a lot of years. <laughs> um, so that's it. It's just short and sweet today. Um, I thought you might like to see it. You know, it's that time of year when we're all thinking about making hats, and I thought it's something a little bit different. Um, I'm really really super pleased with this and it is really warm as well 
um, from the times I've tried it on I haven't been able to keep it on for very long because it's just too hot in the house so um, fits me perfectly um, yeah so I'm really pleased with that after sort of frogging it back and I'm starting to lose the will to live with it thank you Sean and Amy for keeping me going on it <laughs> um, yeah it's done and I'm really happy with it um, I did think about putting a pom pom on it but uh, the reason I haven't is my coat is actually hooded so when it's rain, I, raining I like to put my hood up it's got one of the fur cuffs on that not real fur you know fake fur um, on the edge of the hood um, and I ha like that because it protects my glasses if I'm out and otherwise you get rained out and you need window wipers for your glasses and of course you don't have that um, yeah so I didn't put the pom pom up because it would have stop me putting my head up properly and that's the reason why I didn't otherwise I probably would have added one I do like my pom-poms anyway that's it um so thanks for joining me uh next video will be a yarn haul from Jan uh Stran Carruthers if you don't know obviously I'll be linking everything in, in the next video um so stay tuned for that uh so remember until next time to stay well happy crafting and remember to stay true to yourself bye